disfigured in a car accident, Man was gearing up for a life-changing face transplant surgery. While the doctors were discussing the procedure, an intern suddenly burst into laughter. Holy crap, Lowell is right. The man, though easygoing, felt a bit hurt. After considering the plan, they decided to proceed with the surgery. However, the two interns couldn't hold back their laughter once again. That's it. Both of you in the hall now. Finally, the doctor had had enough and gave them a stern talking to in the corridor. Just then, a group of people arrived at the hospital with flowers, but the man became angry upon seeing them. Get them out. They're strangers. I don't want them in here. Get out! Get out! As it turned out, these people were the man's online friends. He was afraid they would find his appearance repulsive, so he pretended to be angry and drove them away. Seeing his emotional state, the group reluctantly left. The doctors reassured him his friends wouldn't mock him and were genuinely friendly. Given the risky nature of the upcoming surgery, it was better to meet with them before the operation. In the end, the man compromised. The doctor carefully peeled off the face, preparing it for transplantation onto the man. The man was overjoyed he wouldn't have to endure the curious looks and whispers anymore. However, this kind of surgery had only been performed four times worldwide. It was incredibly challenging and dangerous. Before the surgery, his online friends came to visit him. If, if I reject the donor face, I'll be ugly. Please, don't call my dear friend ugly. The hot girl planted a friendly kiss on his cheek, causing tears to well up in the man's eyes. The surgery commenced. They gingerly removed the donor's facial skin, sanitized it in water, then excised the damaged portion from the man's face. They then meticulously placed the intact facial skin in position, aligning it with his nose, eyes, and other features, proceeding with the delicate suturing process. Thankfully, the surgery proceeded without a hitch, and the facial skin was successfully transplanted. A month later, as they unveiled his face from the bandages, a handsome and charismatic visage greeted him in the mirror. A steel pipe skewered through a man and a woman. Initially, the man tried to maintain a sense of humor, cracking jokes, but their laughter quickly faded. The x-ray results indicate one of them had to be moved off the pipe to proceed with the surgery. However, moving the person would likely result in his instant death, which meant only one could be saved. The doctor noticed the man's toe was still moving, but the woman showed no signs of responsiveness. He decided to prioritize saving the man's life. If you move me, I'll die. We're gonna do everything we can. No, no, it's not right. It's not fair. Although the man found it deeply unfair, he understood it was the only way for one of them to survive. Can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. Do you believe in heaven? I do. Reluctantly, the woman I consented know. to the doctor's plan. After administering anesthesia, they carefully secured both individuals and the pipe, then slowly moved the woman away from it. As they did so, the woman's aorta ruptured, but the doctor remained unwavering in their determination not to give up. much damage. There was never anything we could do. We have to let her go. Time of death, 349. The baby was born with facial deformities. Fortunately, the ultrasound showed the encephalocele only contained fluid and did not include actual brain tissue, so it could be completely removed through surgery. A piece of skull could be used to fill the gap. However, this baby was in danger as his heart was located outside the chest. The doctor had to open the chest to put the heart back in. This surgery carried an extremely high risk, with a success rate of less than 5%. Any slight deviation could have led to the baby's immediate demise. During the surgery, the lead surgeon found the heart was too large, so Gray asked him to remove a part of the lung so that the heart could fit inside. Although this would affect the baby's breathing, the most important thing was for the baby to survive. The surgery was a complete success. The doctor provided the baby with a small protective armor in hopes of ensuring his healthy growth. The doctor lifted the boy's eyelids and then took out a 10 centimeter long needle, about to insert it. However, right at that pivotal moment, the bewildered mother unexpectedly launched into a loud interrogation of the doctor. This almost caused a grave error. It left the doctor visibly exasperated. Get her out of here, Norman! Get her out! What are you doing? It turns out that just then, the boy suddenly collapsed to the ground unconscious. Subsequently, he developed brain herniation. It was necessary to quickly withdraw cerebrospinal fluid, or he would die within 10 minutes. However, the unknowing intern burst into the room with the woman, almost causing a medical accident. After a series of scoldings, the intern finally escorted the woman out of the ward. Considering that the intern was also an elder, the doctor apologized for shouting at him. But Bailey, upon hearing this, was furious. Despite his age, you shouldn't criticize him so harshly. An intern is just a rookie, not only unable to help but also repeatedly hindering your patient care. When it comes to a patient's life, his fragile ego holds no significance. Do you agree with the woman?
A man had a bomb lodged inside his body. The doctor carefully removed it. However, just as the bomb was taken outside, Just now, an ambulance arrived with a patient. He had a large object inside him, causing severe bleeding. The paramedic was trying to press it. The patient's wife claimed it was a bomb. The paramedic was terrified. The anesthetist tried to reassure her, saying if the bomb exploded, they would be instantly turned into minced meat. They wouldn't feel much pain. Then, the anesthetist said he needed to use the restroom and stepped out, but he never returned. This enraged the paramedic. Despite the doctor's attempts to persuade her, she had already lost trust in him. She pulled out her arm and made a run for it. However, the bomb did not explode. The doctor looked up and found Grace reached inside. Even Grace herself was stunned. The bomb disposal expert guided her in slowly removing the bomb. The expert praised Grace for doing an excellent job, but as he carried the bomb outside, A man claimed he was pregnant. I've been able to feel it getting bigger and bigger, growing in my, my womb. The doctors were unbelievable and conduct some tests. Astonishingly, the pregnancy test displayed two lines. They even heard fetal movements. The man became a medical marvel at the hospital, drawing doctors from various specialties eager to examine him. Journalists swarmed in to report on this unprecedented case. Following a CT scan, it was revealed actual human tissue was present inside the man's abdomen. Jeez, are those teeth? It turned out to be a teratoma. You have what's called a teratoma. Now it's growing. Yeah, growing jaw bones and toenails and clumps of hair. The man's pregnancy case sent shockwaves through the entire hospital, with an additional fee required for those wishing to witness his surgery. When the massive 10-pound teratoma was successfully removed, the observation area was flooded with people snapping photos to commemorate this extraordinary event. The man just sneezed. His belly instantly swelled up like a balloon. As his belly seemed ready to burst, the intern let out a pig-like squeal. Someone even fainted on the spot. However, the doctor remained calm. After an examination, they discovered the man had developed a hernia in his abdomen after the surgery. It could be easily fixed with a minor operation, but just as the surgery was about to begin, the man's heart started acting up again. The doctor hurriedly administered a shock to his heart. An unexpected incident occurred. From the expression, you could tell how miserable the man feels. Oh! Crap. No, no, no. But the doctor had to continue with the surgery and couldn't be bothered with the incident. After the surgery, the doctor went to apologize to him. Unexpectedly, the man said, I've obtained an emergency restraining order against you due to acute emotional and physical distress. Come and work together. Shut the door on your way out. The conjoined brothers had lived together for 35 years. Today, they were about to undergo separation surgery. Because their mutual affection for the woman, they could share everything. But when it came to this woman, neither was willing to yield. However, the surgery was highly complex and risky. The doctors advised against it. Just as the two were in a heated argument, the woman stepped forward to intervene. How are you okay with the fact that he's touching you while you're naked? It just, it wasn't a big deal. But you, you liked it. You enjoyed it. I really love that too. As it turned out, she fell in love with both simultaneously. The elder brother vehemently disagreed. No, you have to choose. In the end, the woman chose the younger brother. This rift between the brothers grew irreparable. The surgery became an inevitability. Surprisingly, the surgery went remarkably smoothly. As the two brothers' bodies were separated, they finally found their own independent lives. Better stay away. The doctor extracted hundreds of fresh roundworms from the girl's belly, each measuring 66.66 meters long. Initially, the girl had only complained of abdominal pain. However, upon examination, the doctor discovered a dark mass in her abdomen, which turned out to be a nest of roundworms. The girl found it extremely disgusting, but her boyfriend didn't seem to mind. It's real, just like you. I love how real you are, Boo Boo. You're so beautiful. However, his nonchalance didn't last long. The doctor explained this was likely caused by consuming unwashed fruits. The larvae had traveled with her bloodstream into her small intestine, matured, mated, laid eggs and eventually formed a nest of worms. Fortunately, surgery was the solution to remove them. When her boyfriend heard he needed to accompany her during the surgery, he falsely claimed he had urgent work to attend to and abruptly left, leaving the girl on her own. During the surgery, the roundworms quickly filled up a small basin, each one large and plump, wriggling around. The man transformed himself to look like a cat. Meow. This half-man, half-cat appearance astonished the doctors. 
Just moments ago, the woman was brought to the hospital after a car accident. She claimed it was caused by a cat demon. It was a cat, a really big cat. At that moment, the cat demon was also brought to the hospital, leaving the doctors Holy exclaiming crap. 666 in disbelief. The doctors were puzzled, wondering why he had gone to such lengths to change his appearance. It turns out his girlfriend loved cats and demanded he transform himself into one. However, shortly after his cosmetic surgery, she developed a liking for dogs and demanded he change into a dog. Unable to bear it any longer, the man decided to break up with his girlfriend. He had been holed up for six months without going out. Finally, he ventured out today to clear his mind. The woman kept staring at him, which led to an accident that also injured a boy. Feeling guilty, the man went to apologize to the boy, as the boy slowly opened his eyes. Uh -oh.